Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily and this is little Jack. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I had been meaning on vacuuming Jack's room, so after I got him up from his nap, fed him, and changed him, he definitely needed a clothing change, if you know what I mean. But anyways, he was happy in his crib, so I was able to vacuum his room, and then also, since he was like totally fine kind of playing with some of the toys I gave him, I actually went and did some other chores around the house as well. So I really hope you guys enjoy these vacuum lines and get motivated to also clean some of the rooms around your house that you have been meaning on cleaning. I can't tell if you're here or you're out there. Do you wanna be out there? You don't need to be Prince Charming to me. I just need this to be real. I don't need no fairy tale. You don't need a killer dragon for me. So as I was kind of cleaning up around the house, I found some clothes and some other things that needed to be washed in the laundry. So I went ahead and just kind of collected all that I could, different towels, blankets, and then I figured it would be a good time to change our master bed with the sheets. So that is what I will be doing next. So I went ahead and added these sheets to our washer because there was enough room for them. And if you guys haven't checked out how I fold my sheets, make sure you guys check out the video I've linked above. It actually like saves a lot of space and just kind of keeps everything together really nicely. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already. So once the bed was made, Bubba was pretty much ready to get out of his bed. So we went on and I set him up in his high chair and I was gonna do like a little Target restock. Juan ordered a bunch of little baby food snacks, including these like hummus flavored puffs. To me, they didn't smell very appetizing and Jack's like initial taste kind of gives that same vibe. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love his little face. But anyways, he ended up eating a lot and Aubrey even ended up coming over and like eating a bunch of his puffs as well because, you know, anything that is his looks more appealing than if I were to just give it to her in the first place. So anyways, we're going to move on and restock our little lazy Susan with all of Jack's snacks that Juan got or at least most of them. Some of them I tucked away in the overflow baskets and we're gonna add some to our car as well. Mm -hmm. 
So in addition to those teething crackers, Juan also picked up a bunch of these granola bars, uh, probably more because of what Aubrey said that she liked them. I'm hoping that we eat through all of them. I don't have like one a day or anything like that, so there are still a lot to go through, but I love how organized our Lazy Susan looks when it's like nicely stocked. And then we're going to move on to some Cheerio type cereal because Jack and Aubrey almost ate through that entire canister of little like hummus puffs, so I needed to like cut them off so that we'd have some for another day. So I gave some of these like little Cheerio like cereal pieces to Jack and then I'm going to be using some breast milk storage bags to just kind of package some up for on the go and we can store these in our car so that I will always have like something to feed Jack because this little boy like I said can eat. So it is much later in the evening now. I think by now we've had dinner. I think the kids are in bed and it is finally time for me to organize and tidy up. It is horrendous in this house. Not only is it just normally messy, but Aubrey did some crafts, which you can see all of the paper like all over the floor. So it just, you know, we needed to deep clean. So I'm starting off by just putting all of Jack's toys away and organizing our living space.
So now that all of the dishes have either been put in the dishwasher or washed by hand, I am going to be giving the countertops like a good wipe down and then we will be cleaning my stove top because it has gotten pretty bad from all of its many uses over the last couple of weeks. I know I've been pretty laid back about <laughs> cleaning it. I think I just wanted it to be like a good before and after and that's why I kept pushing it off. But anyways, we will also get to see how orange my pumpkin has gotten. So if you guys have been following my channel, you may have even seen like the little tiny plants when they first sprouted from the seeds. And then in a previous video, I harvested my pumpkin and it had a lot of green spots. I was kind of like, man, you know, like this kind of looks like a pumpkin that you see in the store. But if you're looking at it now, it is nice and orange. I'm very happily surprised with how orange it's gotten after its harvest. And in a future video, we will be baking it and making some pumpkin bread. But like I said, we're moving on to cleaning my stovetop because it has gotten pretty bad. So I hope that this serves as good cleaning motivation for your kitchen. So I don't know about you, but this looks a whole lot better. I'm so excited. My mom actually came over the next day and commented on how nice everything looked. I wish I could say it lasted like this for a few days, but it definitely did not. Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Again, I hope that this video motivated you. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.